If you're looking for an opportunity to shadow an optometrist in New York, trust that you are right where you belong. My name is Dr. Raimondi and I split my time in, during the work week working at practicing at Metropolitan Hospital and at Sewer Eye Care in Queens. And this video is going to be tips for you, the student, on how to make the most of your shadowing experience, student, sh student shadowing best practices. So let's start with number one. Know what you want first. Do you think that you'd like working in a hospital setting? Do you think that you would enjoy being your own boss and working at your own private practice? Do you maybe see yourself doing more research or being in a more academic setting? Um, know what you want in terms of that. There are actually so many opportunities within optometry. It can be with industry, so that means with companies. Um, it could be pharmaceutical based, so developing, you know, all sorts of new medications. Or it could be consulting where you like give uh, expert advice on your experience within eye care. So know what you want first so that you can tailor your experiences. And if you don't know what you want, guess what? Choose different, a wide variety of experiences because then you'll know what you don't like. Number two, do your research. Know the five W's, who, what, where, when, and why, and how. Look up who you're shadowing. The person who you're shadowing, like let's take an example, me, Dr. Raimondi. If you're gonna end up shadowing me, I have my practice as a website. There's a lot of information about me online. You know, don't ask questions like, okay, an example, when you're interviewing someone, right? Like in, like, let's say they're interviewing your favorite celebrity. You're not gonna ask, oh, uh, where were you born? How did you get into this? You know, you wanna get into deeper questions. So the way you get into deeper questions is by researching the person you are shadowing, by researching the practice that you are stepping into for the day. It wasn't built in one day. It took many, many years for this to happen. So to make your experience more enriching, it would be so beneficial for you to look up what this person has done, what they've achieved, what they're working on, and what their you know values are. It's printed all over on everyone's website. So that's something for you to look at. But looking back here at my notes, um, who are you shadowing? Why are you shadowing them? What mode of practice are they in? Knowing this information is gonna help align your goals with theirs and then you can both like really work together and hey, it might even lead to a letter of recommendation or more shadowing uh, time and opportunities with this person. Hello, I'm Dr. Tamara Young. I have been practicing for almost 30 years and I'm currently at Mount Vernon Eye Care in Mount Vernon, New York. I enjoy mentoring, so that's whether as an optometrist or outside of the profession. So I'm glad to be here to provide you with tips to begin your shadowing journey. What I feel is most rewarding when a student is shadowing is when they ask questions. We as doctors have a lot of information to share. So it's important to know what's key for you. Tip number three, develop a game plan. When approaching a doctor, the staff is your first point of contact. Familiarize yourself with them, make your intentions clear. Have your updated resume in hand, ask to speak with the doctor, and be prepared to wait until they are available. Introduce yourself and let them know what your interest is, what you can provide and what your availability is. A weekly visit is suggested and four hours a week would be optimal to maximize your learning. Number four, know your worth. Your time and energy are valuable to doctors. You wanna get as much out of the experience as possible. Ask for responsibilities. This shows your commitment in adding value to their practice. In return, you're getting the most out of your experience. Tip number five, now that you have your foot in the door, make sure you get the guidance you need. Be prepared with questions and don't hesitate to ask. You will find people love to talk about what they do. I began earlier saying that's my favorite part of shadowing. The information that you're inquisitive about is most important. Lastly, shadowing attire is business casual. Dress to impress, dress for the part. Now that you are prepared with all these tips, click the link in the description box to find a directory of optometrists in New York that are ready for you to come in and shadow. Best of luck on your journey.